Greetings. Uh, doing a check-in for um, Black Sun um, between between Earth and Sky, number one, the, the series by uh, Rebecca Rowanhorse. Uh, this is set in a uh, kind of uh, a fantasy world uh, inspired by pre-Columbian civilizations. Uh, and we're bopping around amongst a bunch of different people. I'm listening to it on audiobook. That probably makes it extra, extra hard to kind of track everything. But uh, at least we have uh, multiple different uh, narrators for each section to hopefully help me kind of keep things separated. So far, we've got this is uh, tracks. This is from one to four. I think I have, um, and the first section. Uh, the, uh, a young boy is being, I think, ritually, ritually carved up by his mother, um, for, to, for ritualistic reasons. Uh, he's been given poison, uh, she's kind of carved into his skin and she stitches his eyes shut. It's like, and, uh, there's a pounding on the door and it's his father who is apparently, um, of a different different people than his mother and he is indeed kind of a mixed race and is teased by kids and now he's being richly kind of yeah done to and his mother does that and says okay i have to leave you now for i have to, I have to go join our ancestors or whatever so i'm assuming she is now committing suicide at the end of this so fairly intense confusing opening um a second section where um a uh, woman wakes up in a jail shell cell uh in another city i believe and uh she's like oh god what did i do this time i got drunk i'm in the drunk tank bangs on the thing says hey let me out i'm, I'm sober it's like oh pff, we're not letting you out you've been charged with capital crime and she still doesn't know until uh, the kind of the judge of this whatever thing comes up with a noble, uh, one of the uh, of the seven houses or something very big noble, uh, and springs him. And apparently, what she did is she went to a bar, got a bit tipsy, hooked up with a woman, went back to her place, and then the husband showed up, and uh, he called the cops. And so she's in it for, you know, lewdness, drunkenness, um, adultery which is, I guess, the capital thing. But uh, the noble is able to bribe the guy, and um, <coughs> he needs her he Needs her for... Uh, he's like, she's Teva, uh, and apparently, like, you know, the bones of Teva are really good. She actually lost a little pinky finger to some guy who... who cute guy who got her a bit drunk and, I guess, took a pinky finger. Um, <coughs> but no, this guy, this no, noble's like, you you sign into service for me for 12 years. You'll get a small fortune at the end. But you have to do this first job for me. Uh, and it's, you got to get this person um, well across the thing uh, in, I think it's 30 days, uh, except, or 12 days or something. It's like, uh, more like 30 days because this is like winter time and it's like, you know, bad weather, all that stuff. It's like, well, I need you to do it in this time. And apparently she's got certain powers, a song or something, but it doesn't control the weather. So we shall see, but she's agreed to the job and gets a bath and is going to be off. Uh, next we hook up with a priest. No, no, there's a young family where um, she, there's a girl who's excited about working at a place, but they're of lower caste. So she's not going to actually get to be study there but she will get to kind of watch and do see what they're doing while she's kind of doing stuff because basically it's a case system and it's only the nobles who get to kind of learn the big the bird the big the the big knowledge and stuff like that but not her uh and it's sort of like you can tell that this kind of it's a family it's kind of a bit ground down by all this stuff and at the end she says but now my mother and father are dead one of my brothers is dead and the other brother basically is dead in spirit so something horrible happened <clears throat> in amongst this that she was thinking back out on so that's where they're at so hard hard realities the next one is um 
is is a bunch of uh, priests coming to coming to a town uh, city or something like that. And it's a city where basically there'd been a religious purge because they'd been worshiping a he what was considered a schismatic or heathen god. And so it was decided that they would just, I guess, kill. There was like a Night of the Long Knives. I can't remember what it was called. Basically, they just exterminated, I think, the priestly class. They knocked, basically, they knocked this this clan back. The, uh, uh, <clears throat> what are they called? I can't remember what bird. Probably, it's, it's one of those kind of, not condor, um, uh, damn it vulture or something, vulture, crow, something like that, cl clan. Uh, so they're never, they're never really particularly happy to see them. Um, one of the younger ones says, hey, well, I wasn't alive when this is like, yeah, none of us were alive. Maybe the oldest of us was alive and they were just a child when this happened. But we hope we carry the weight from it. Uh, and yeah, they are, we, 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 you know, and it's one of these things of, we probably we've and she thinks to herself and we benefit from it as well basically they knock them down but she doesn't say that out loud because that would be controversial but in the midst of this she, she's like why are they all celebrating because they're all doing kind of a celebration thing which just seems very odd because they're very dour people for the most part judging from the from what happened to them in the history and also this isn't an appropriate festival for that but then um as they go into the amphitheater for this thing, uh, one of the servants pulls out a knife and tries to stab her, uh, and she gets pulled back, and they kill the guy immediately. But it's like, oh, well, why did they do that? It was like, duh, they did that because of our the history. They fucking hate us. Uh, so that's where that is at. So not all is good. There's not like you know smooth stuff. There's various different religions. Uh, we have this interesting thing at the beginning of this guy getting this young guy getting maimed. Um, yeah, so it's it's pleasingly confusing. I'm I'm tr struggling to get my bearings, which is awesome in fantasy worlds. Uh, Roan Horse is doing a good job of kind of clearly putting things out, but there's just tons of world building and information and interesting characters. So uh, good start, good start. I'm probably have missed a whole ton of stuff, but I figured I'd just note that at the beginning and see if that's what I have. All right, so that is the start of. Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, the first in the Between Earth and Sky series. I think it's Between Earth and Sky. Uh, I've I've read the first book in her uh, Sixth World series, uh, Trailing Lightning. And actually, there's apparently another one of those out, which I wouldn't mind what, taking a look at, which is kind of a post-apocalyptic, uh, post-apocalyptic um, kind of Hopi, Hopi, is it Hopi or something like that, um, uh, urban fantasy. So yeah, I'll have to try that. I'll have to track that down after I've finished as after I've done this one. All right. That's all I have now. More videos later.